GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zlot, and we are here today doing the Alpha 9 series out at the Space Hangar. So, here, let's fly over here. So, here is the mining CV, the hull, the CV itself. I'm pretty sure is probably flyable at this point. I'll show you what I did. I got rid of the uh, of the elevator coming up right through because it was a problem with the garden. <laughs> and probably tons of you noticed. And yeah, I, I realized when I'm going to put the lights up, I'm like, huh. Okay, that's an issue. And so this is what I did instead. I just ended it. <laughs> so it comes up in the middle of the garden. And yeah, I can't texture that. That's the turret. It won't take this texture. That's fine. Well, it, actually, if it does, it textures it on the whole on the other side, too. And I'd rather have the other side match the outside. <laughs> So here is the garden area. We just got to sprout it up. Um, the engine room is here. And it's pretty much chock-a-block full. There's nothing to really see in there. Can't really get back there. The warp drive and everything's back there. All the uh... I put the RCS forward up against the hall along that there was a, a row of area underneath the blocks that I could fit stuff in on either side. So I put the RCS forward a little bit so that the weight from the rear, the RCS would take up because RCS are, are super heavy. The uh, tier two RCS, they're like, they might be the heaviest thing per block, per single block that there is in the game. Uh, I don't even think like the, the full on extra large thrusters are as heavy per block space individual blocks come on okay let's just get rid of that then and we're gonna just head down <laughs> yeah okay so oh yeah here's the cockpit area uh i guess we got to put some uh, railings up and then uh so i want to do that railings and i don't know this will be like deco or something up here i guess um, okay, and then down here is where the construction area, and I'm thinking like the, the, um, I don't know, there's a lot of space down here. It's, we can, the construction room anyway, for the most part. Uh, obviously the hangar, which is a decent size. It should fit both of the ships that I want to create to put in here. No problem. Now I started putting the gear in. I thought, you know what, we can fit. We can do one last episode constructing this thing, finishing it off by putting the goodies on the inside of it. Now, so let's do that. That's what we're going to be doing today. So let's go into our blocks. We'll connect to that. So we've got a advanced constructor to throw in here. We've got the repair station. Uh, we've got some medical devices to go in. O2 station. Some lights. Switch. So we're going to configure a switch and a sensor today. Is that all that we're putting in today? Yeah, actually, we'll put some deco. A little bit of deco. Maybe we'll... Uh, but they have some labels, some stuff too. Although I, I'd rather do the consoles first before the labeling. So let's let's do that. Okay. Um, so out here, these are remember there's thrusters on the bench. If we if we stand here too long, you can see we're getting radiated there. That means we're, we're going to get nuked by heat, too, if we're in that square. We can be here. We just can't get into this tiny little corner piece here. You know what? That's fine. I think we should be okay. 
That's the only hot spot in the... That's going to be a hot spot. That's a hot spot right here. It's either that or I put a whole block out. Eh. I don't know. Maybe I'll just... Uh, can this take a texture of the sea? Let's see. I can always do something like... Um, what does this do? Does this do symbols? Yeah. We could do like the checkerboard warning. Can't quite match it up. Well, that's not bad, though. That's kind of cool. That's pretty close. That's not bad. Let's see if we can get... Oh, I like that. That actually kind of lines up a bit. Although it's... You know what? Nah, it looks kludgy. You know what, that on this one, on this one, we won't bother doing the textures up on the top. We'll just, I think right there is good enough. We'll do a texture right there for that. Should we do it down like that? Yeah, I like that better. So we'll flip this. There we go. Okay. So that uh, is our warning. Don't stand there. You'll fry to death. I think that's the only hot spots in the CV. Everything else, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no. See, these are thrusters here. These are straight up thruster. So this is, these are the things that I want to bury with other gear. Let's see, thrusters. Yeah. Okay. So we got to bury this stuff somehow so we can't get to it with gear. What kind of gear can I bury that with? I mean, other than cargo. Um, so for starters, we do need... You know what I kind of wanted to do? You know what I kind of wanted to do? Let's let's take a look at uh, the constructors here. I have a feeling that I'm just going to go in and take a look at the cost of some of the stuff here. And then we're going to do a little bit of a comparison. So... Oops. Let's let's take a look at the deconstruction crew queue. Do we got to get in and see it through the control panel, right? Yeah. So right here. Uh, no. Oh, you know what it is? It just automatically queues it up. Uh, I'm not sure how long it takes to actually do it. So energy in is 2.5 KU. That's quite a bit when it's running. So what is energy in on a small one? Will it say in the... Um, energy in 250. So we could have 10 small ones going for the cost of one. And wow, you know what? I think it's cheaper to run like four small constructors smelting. 
Although I don't think they can do the, uh, they can't do a restroom in Zascosium, can they? I'm not, I can't remember now. Okay, well, um, let's at least have a couple of them. A couple of the smaller ones for smelting. And that'll cover up, the way I'm going to do that, that'll cover up that side. The other side, what am I going to do with the other side? I can do the toilet and washroom. I can do the washroom stuff. Right where the thrusters are to kind of cover that up. Yeah, okay, so let's do that. Let's do that. Here, let's get rid of our jetpack for now. We'll just use gravity. Um, you know what? I want to fix that. Let's get back to here, and we're gonna switch that to the to that, and then let's go back to the dark green. Okay. Um. So let's do the, oops, didn't get that. let's do the advanced constructor. Where are we going to do that? Let's do it right there. And then I want to do the two, um, small constructors that we just made. I uh, don't have room here. I'll just get this in. That one there, and then the other one right beside it. Right there. Okay, so now at least we probably won't burn ourselves on that side. Not really sure what we're going to do on this side yet to protect ourselves against the thruster fry. <laughs> um, hmm. We could do... So if we do some medical equipment... We go like four, let's get that into the corner. We'll get or is it two? We'll spin this around, get that in, and then we can do what else is a this one's also tall, isn't it? Let's get that in there. And then kind of ironic when we come in, we'll f oh, actually no. Yeah, when we come in from dying, we'll probably die from, from the heat of the thruster. <laughs> and then we spawn right there, respawn, keep getting this vicious circle of death and destruction. Um, that's funny. Uh, okay, so let's get this up. We'll put that here. That'll probably block us from going far enough to burn. We're not going to need to get super close to it. Okay, and then the other table we'll put there. Uh, and then the other... Ones, what I want to do is, now is that facing down is the, where is it? No, okay, so let's spin this. Is that facing down? Yes, okay. So, we're going to put that in. We need to make another one because we only had four. Okay. That's fine. So 
So there we go. We've got some stuff going in there. We need the... What other gear do we need here? We need... Um, yeah, we need to make another first aid. So let's do that. And medical device. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? Get that in. I mean, we're pretty full functional now. Now that we've got the constructors in here and this equipment here, we've got, yeah, we're, we're pretty full functional. And it's this one that we haven't done yet, so let's get this in. And where's he? He's facing the wrong way. Get him spun down to there. Okay. So there's our medical equipment, uh, our constructors, our O2 and repair we need. So this is the repair bay and the armor lockers. Okay. Uh, what am I missing? What am I missing? We need... Should we set up a little apartment down here then, instead of up, up top? No, that's going to be all like gadgets and gizmos. Yeah, let's do the, uh, we can do our bedroom down here, I guess. So what we need first is let's get some... That's a nice toilet. Oh, that's a shower. Okay, so we don't want that. Just kind of look like it. Yeah, okay, it says shower. So, whatever. So, we'll put the toilet there. We'll put a shower. Should we do matching? No, because I want to do this one. So that's nice and clear. That finishes out that off, really. And then we want... A bathroom vanity. Where do we want that, though? Huh. If I had done the shower right there, flip the toilet, we can put the vanity up against the wall. That way it won't take up as much room. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to grab this. We're going to grab this. And we're going to put it back down. Uh, okay, so we want the toilet, and we're going to rotate it, and we'll put the shower here, and then the bathroom vanity. That didn't work either. We're going to have to flip these. <laughs> okay. Let me grab those here. Where are you? There you're in base. And, oops. 
Okay. Let's try this again. So we're going to do the shower here. Let's pivot it. So we, where do we want? We want it opening to like that? I don't think so. Let's let's do that. And then we'll do toilet. And then from here, we can do the bathroom counter there. That's better. OK. Don't really know why we need a bathroom counter. Just, you know, just go with it. We'll do the closet here. Let's spin that. And then have uh, nice big bed. And then, oh God, I don't know. Got like a TV <laughs> up against here, and then oh, am I out? Yep, I'm out. Mm. Not really sure if I like that. <laughs> Not sure. Not really sure. Uh, we can always pop those out later, but in the meantime, in the meantime, it's kind of a pretty cool bachelor's pad in a shop, in a flying warping mobile shop with guns and drills. Okay, we're going to suffocate in here. We're going to leave. Go get some oxygen. So she's almost pretty much ready. She's got the gear in her now. We'll get the signal logic and the switch in here. Get some lights. Okay, so we want to get the switch in. That's going to go upstairs here. Oops. That's going to go up. Just in behind the, right here. It's the only place it's gonna fit. Do it right there. So let's do the switch. I've got a sensor here and, we're, and the other switch now. So this sensor is gonna control the bay door and this ramp. So what we want to do is here, first of all, let's regroup everything one last final time here. Um, what's our stats now that everything's pretty much in? Oh, wow. We've got crazy stats. That can't be right. That's insane whiplash sort of ridiculousness. No, that's got to be wrong. It won't, it's not going to be that good. <laughs> There's no way. That's like, that's like 3G side to side, 4G down, almost 7G thrusting out the back. And three and a half G to the front. I don't know. That seems way off. That seems too much. I don't think I. I don't think so. I don't. Uh, I don't know. Although I did over provision quite a bit because I knew once I added the, all the weight, all that tonnage was going to really slow it down without a lot of thrust. Okay, so let's. Um, 
let's paint the ramp. Let's do let's do a red. Uh why is it still gray? Oh right, because it here, let's let's push it out. There we go. There we go. Kind of look like a big... Oh my god. Looks like a freaking face. With a big tongue that stuck out. <laughs> oh man. I gotta give him like... Uh, let's give him some nice red lips. And... Uh, uh, well, he's got to have like the clown nose, right? So let's do that. We'll do the clown nose. <laughs> Cause... Damn! It's a freaking clown face. Ass. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh, wow. It has a clown face for an ass. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, that's, that's, that's priceless. Okay, so let's, um. Let's get the <laughs> let's get the sensor going. Oh my god! I made a freaking clown ass face. Um, wow. Okay, so here, let's. You know what? We're I don't want to trigger it, so we'll just stand here. Yeah, here, let's uh get off our there, and then um, you know what? We'll go like this. Let's get that device. Switches and sensors. Come on. Why isn't it dragging? I don't know why it's not dragging. Hmm. Come on. There we go. That was weird. Okay. We want these motion sensor. And we're going to call this the... Um, Hanger. Mm, not hanger, as in clothes hanger, hangar, as an airplane hangar. Okay, and then don't trigger. Let's do the. Nope. Nope. Come on. Really? That's what we want. And then we want interactive setup. So. Yeah, let's move this thing. So we don't want it to trigger there, obviously. That sucks. So it says enlarge left control plus numpad. So two is to the back. So left control, numpad two. Oh, that pushes it down. Okay, that's fine. It needs to go down, and then to pull it forward is what five. Five pushes it back. Okay. Um, so I've got this flipped in. So that means six. Six is the one that put. No, six is to the side, and four. That's the opposite side. Okay. <laughs> so the only one left is eight, which goes up. Okay. So why can't I? So shrink, can I get it to shrink then? I think I, you know what? This is actually like the wrong way. This is the wrong way. I gotta, I gotta pop it because it's not acting correctly here. I gotta pop it. I gotta put it on the ceiling, I think. Because it's just, it's, it's being stupid. Left is right to it, and 
things just it's not going the way I want it to it's not going the way it's supposed to be going so let's uh, reposition it space hanger and where is that switch oh what am I connected to then CV blocks oh CV blocks okay that was just there <clears throat> Uh, where's the switch? There it is. Okay, so this time we're going to put it as a sensor up on the ceiling. There. Okay. So now... We go into this thing. Oh, we got to group it. Okay, there, now we can call it hanger, and we can do the interactive setup, and then from here, oops, let me get my bearings here, where am I, right here, yeah, that's, that's how it's supposed to have looked off the bat, so now, when we go, uh, numpad 2 it pulls it forward that like I want it yes so now it's actually behaving the way I want uh, 4 and 6 we don't really need but we do need to go down so let's push that down um, and then we actually need to shrink that I don't want it so far that's as shrunk as it'll go okay that's not bad though you have to trigger it when you're almost right up to it and then okay so we got to extend that further so let's take a look uh, let's do another block at least worth that way you don't have to be like right touching it. Or should we do one more, one more? There we go, okay. So it's right down to the ground. And then it's overlapping it completely plus to the sides. So um, if I'm like, jumping up in my jetpack I can activate it from the side without without it come you know so I can jump over it there we go okay that's a good that's a good uh, whenever we're in this red area whatever is tied to it will activate so what we're going to do now is now that we've got that set up the way we want um, how do we get out of this? Escape? Escape. There we go. Okay, you can see they're all set now. Um, what we want to do is go into signal logic. We don't need to, we're just going to call this hanger. And then... What we want to do is we want to go to the door, door, armor door. Oh no, it's actually called hanger, shutter door. We want that. We want it to open. We want it to follow the hanger. And the other one is the ramp the ramp we want it to not follow the hanger we want it to do the opposite because we want it to retract we don't want it to close we want it to open so that means we got to invert it okay so Technically, now, once we get close, 
it'll open and the and the ramp retracts if we get to the side here they both close if we get close enough to here they both open we get inside a little bit they both close there we go it's as simple as that you don't have to get real fancy with your signal logic to, to make something useful you just to get to get this ramp hanger combo I'll sh oh before I starve to death I'll <laughs> I'll eat an emergency ration since I've got hundreds of them literally it's all I make in my farm okay anyway let's get back out of here the great thing about the sensors is you can it'll activate with the drone too so if I get into sensor logic range I don't have to hit my F to open the door it'll just open for me which is nice um, well there we go we got our signal logic in we've got uh, <laughs> our happy face <laughs> our clown face who sticks his tongue out no, he opens his mouth and sticks his tongue out, and then we're gonna put a big suppressor in there, and it's gonna be our, it's gonna be called the hole mole. We're gonna use the hole mole as a big giant frickin' suppressor. Oh man, and it's, it's like a combo suppository <laughs> suppressor. <laughs> oh, that's so messed up. I, I can't even tell you. <laughs> Oh, that really worked out quite well. <laughs> I don't know how that worked. I don't know how I did that. That was just bizarre. I made a clown face on the ass of my ship. What the hell? Well, guys, uh, next episode, I'll have all the... I'm going to transfer um, ammo and and some mats and I'll get it oxygenated and we'll get it fired up we'll get it fueled up and and uh, you know what I think we'll probably take it out cruising because it's pretty much ready to go now it's done um, I guess I can paint the I can paint this stuff here let's do that So, what colors do we want here? I like doing my O2 blue. My repair. Let's do that in yellow. Um, all of the stuff I got to touch in bright red. Oh, come on. the medical equipment okay and then we want not sure what colors I want for that yet uh, for the constructors let's use a nice orange and then We still got to put deco on stuff. So I got the hiccups for some stupid reason. And I don't drink, even though it sounds like I do. Because <laughs> I, I slur my words pretty badly when I start getting tired. And I usually do most of my recording at night. So I do start getting quite tired. I'm actually drinking iced tea, believe it or not. That's my... Uh, that's my poison. Um, and believe me, the dentist has already reprimanded me because it's like the worst thing for my teeth. <sighs> okay. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I think we're freaking ready here. We've, we've got a freaking mining vessel. We've got a freaking mining vessel that's pretty much ready to go. We can get the garden fired up. 
uh, yeah, because I've, I've got the all that in place. I've got the lights in place. Yeah, I, yeah, I've got lights in here. Oh, it's going to be too bright in here. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Whatever. I don't care. That's fine. That's fine. Well, guys, I think I'm going to leave it off here. I know we didn't really get much done, but I wanted to show you guys the signal logic. Oh, and actually here, let's set up the switch before for the for the final little few minutes here. Uh, I really like signal logic and switches because so that's closed and that's open. So off and on. So let's get into this thing. Uh, I'm going to regroup everything here. So. Let's call this. We're going to call this our parked switch. So parked. And it's not going to follow anything. It's going to be what gets followed. And what gets followed is freaking every single thing. Literally everything except the grow lights and the fridges and the ventilators. That's it. Everything else is going to be shut off by this through signal logic. So let's go through the list. Cargo boxes can't be. It's just the way it is. I don't think a cockpit can be. We can unlock it with the switch. Well, that's kind of funky. Go throw the switch to unlock it. <laughs> the switch is right there. Anyway, that's funny. Uh, so you can have switches that'll unlock stuff. But they will also potentially uh, turn stuff off and on. So this will actually, these constructors have the capability of doing both. I just want the off and on, so I'm going to follow the hang, uh, the park. And I'm going to follow that. So when it's off, this will turn off. And I'm going to do that with these smaller ones too. Okay, the core can't be... Oh, it can be. What? Oh, but I'm not going to because then it shuts the entire ship off, right? So... So you can shut the core off, straight off, with a switch. That's kind of cool. But, I mean, that's all the Y. When you hit Y, power off the ship, that's all you're really doing, right? So, whatever. Um, yes, thruster, thrusters. Now, unfortunately, you can't set a, a, a signal logic on a group. You have to do it on an individual basis. So every single one of my thrusters is going to get the parked switch signal logic oops come on and so i'll finish that off camera and also so other also not just the thrusters but i'm going to go in there's not very much equipment that you can turn off and on but go through it see which ones you can I don't think there's really much. There's the repair bay. Console is only lock. You can do the repair station. Most stuff is just unlock. Uh, wireless, I would leave on. Don't shut your wireless off because that'll that'll disconnect you from your ship for in a wireless state. You might. They don't consume that much power. Just leave them running. That way you can access your, your, all your stuff on your ship from a decent distance. Okay, the food processor. That's definitely going to get turned off by it. Fridges are not going to. Okay, so everything else. The generators, no. Grow lights, no. Hangar door has its own circuit, so we don't have to worry about that. Harvest. So the harvest is all the drill modules. Yes, so we want those following the part. Okay. 
Come on. And that one too. Come on. We want the multi turret following the park. We want all of the lights following park. Come on. We have. Geez, why do I keep missing it? I'm like, click missing. Or is it just not liking me pressing the button? There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if we can do medic stations. No, that's lock on lock. Okay. Uh, O2, lock on lock. The ventilators were not turning off. The ramp were not. So RCS, we will. We don't want it flipping the ship around when we're sitting in the cockpit and we bump our mouse and have the thing bounce 50 miles off every other ship that you're parked beside. Okay, anyway, uh, retractable landing gears. We don't turn those off. Spotlights, we definitely turn those off. And the great thing about signal logic is it's 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 independent of grouping. So um, even if you move these individual things into different or custom groups, they retain their signal logic. So so that's the great thing about a switch. A switch can override a whole bunch of, of, of group custom switches that you've made in the control panel. Uh, so a physical switch can override all that with signal logic. And that, that can make it very dynamic on how you turn things on and off. You can have certain things turned off, certain things turned on. Uh, for example, so these turrets here. Okay, so I have a ton of turrets. Well, a bunch of them are sentry guns, a bunch of them are cannon turrets. I want them all on the parked. Put them all in the park. I'm going to show, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the turrets here. Because they're a custom thing. So I just want to get them all in the same switch, all under the park. Like I say, I'll, I'll put all the thrusters on af afterward. I mean, there's still a whole bunch, still dozens to do. So I don't want to do that on camera. I can do that off camera. I'm just showing you how to get this done. I don't think the warp drive can be done, but I think the tank can. No, it's just to unlock. Okay. So... What I like to do now is I actually like to make a custom group and I call those the sentries. So sentry. And I'm going to add, where's it should be right, right there, zero. Okay. So I'm going to add these sentry guns to it. So let's add to group, and that's sentry. And then I'm gonna add to last group on the other ones there. There we go, okay, so eight sentry guns in a group called sentry. And What we want to do now is we want to make some custom groups here, custom signals, not signals, custom whatever, um, switches, I guess you call it, panel switches. So we want to make one called um, miniguns. We want one called sentries. Sorry, I just bashed something there. 
sentries, we want one called drills. Um, can't tab. Um, want another one called minigun sentries drills. Um, oh, engines, damn. Engines. Yeah, I think that's it. So, now in my groups that I have grouped, I can go in the cannon turret. I can select my mini guns as the group. I can go into the, um, Sentry group and select my sentries custom panel switch. And then I'm going to put RCS under engines. I'm going to put my harvest under drills. And I'm going to make a separate one for multi turret. So let's make one called multi. And then we're going to add that one to it. And then we're going to make a custom panel switch for that. So now we can go into that group. M, M, M. Where am I? I'm way past them. Multi is right there. Okay, so now we can go into here and we can assign the multi to that. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm building in granularity with my switching capabilities. So now, uh, and, and with all the thrusters, I would do each thruster group would go into the engines. Now, keep in mind, I still have to put all the, every individual thruster into the uh, parked switch logic group. So the switch is only going to work on some of them that I did so far. Oops, no oxygen. Well, that's silly, isn't it? <laughs> Let's go get some oxygen. Um, yeah. So, our switch... Actually, here, I'll just show you before we leave here. So now, that's off. If I turn it on... Everything, you can see everything <laughs> went and stuck out. So, let's go down here and grab some oxygen and take a look. So, there we, whoops. Here, let's grab oxygen and we'll take a look. So there we go, all the turrets are sticking out. All the drills are sticking out. So now, I would never probably travel with the drills or the multi out, so I would probably have like that turned off, that turned off, probably like all the engines. So if I went in and I turned off the park switch, it would turn everything off except for the fridge, the oxygen, 
um, and the grow lights. So if I wanted to have this thing defend itself, I would have to then go in and turn on the mini guns and sentries. Because those would be turned off as soon as I switch that switch. It would turn these groups off because everything in those groups is tied to that switch. So once everything is turned off in a group, it actually shows it as fully turned off and not just orange or yellow or whatever it is half turned off. Okay, guys. Well, I think we're going to leave it off here. Um, the stats for this thing is looking pretty darn good. I'm. Oh, see, now it's not going to show it. Now it's not showing the stats. Whatever. Fine. Well, it's pretty much ready to rock and roll. So we're going to be taking it out next episode. I'm going to get it all uh, stocked up and ready to go. I also, for the HV, what I'm going to do is I've got a lot of extra crap here. Um, I'm going to just respawn in the hole mole. So I'm going to make a new hole mole for the uh, miner. So I don't have to move the one out of the dart that way. Um, yeah, because I got tons of mats. That's not going to be an issue. I'm also going to spawn in. Here, let's start the process. I have a little, small little SV that I want to bring in. That is small enough. It's just a little small fighter. And you can see it's not too, too expensive. 528 copper, 500 carbon, 400 silicone, 236 iron, 81 sathium, 40 neo, and 32 cobalt. It has no warp. It's only level 10. And it's cheap. That's fairly cheap, I mean. Uh, it has a little bit of cargo capacity, but not very well. I mean, these SVs just suck at cargo. They just, they just don't cargo. <laughs> so let's send that to the factory. And so we've already got the iron, enough iron in there already from before. So it just needs, doesn't need much sathium either. Okay, whatever. So we'll, uh, we'll get that ready to go to spawn in. We'll get the, another hole mole ready to spawn in. We'll get the CV stocked up. And next episode, we're going to go adventuring. We're going to take it down to a planet somewhere that we haven't been yet. And we're going to spawn in the uh, hole mole and the SV. And we'll take the SV around and explore it. Because that's what the SV is that I'm spawning in. It's a little scout. Um, it's a little scout, light combat. It can, it can take on, like, uh, the patrol vessel. Um and some easy POIs that aren't over the top with the ridiculous amounts of, of turrets and stuff. It can, it, it can take on some of the easier ones that I need to get to for deposits for, because that's what the whole point of this vessel is going to be, going and getting mats from whatever, wherever, anywhere and everywhere. Okay, guys, next episode, we're going to take it out. Oh, it looks hot, doesn't it? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it definitely... It is definitely the uh, whole mole's big brother, though. It, it, it definitely has a family resemblance, that's for sure. Awesome. Okay, guys. Next episode, we're taking her out. Uh, until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome... Awesome day.